Right now, a ten, a teenager should be getting ready for the prom, but a devastated family prepares for her funeral, and an ex-boyfriend is in custody. He turned himself in, but it's not going to make me feel better. It's not going to make me feel better. It's not going to take the pain away. Tonight, loved ones held a vigil to remember 18-year-old Kiara Brown. Her family says she was lured to her death. Rebecca Clough live tonight at Milwaukee Police Headquarters with more. Steve and Carol, a 19 year old is behind bars here, though police have not yet charged him, though they've been looking for him since Kiara B Brown's body was discovered. Kiara Brown's mom says her daughter was worried about finding the perfect prom dress, either the white dress or the teal dress and finishing up her senior year. She was getting ready for graduation, but instead Kanisha Brown is now planning her 18 year olds funeral. He took my baby. Brown says her daughter's ex-boyfriend lured her out of the house Sunday, saying he had something to show her. Kiara was later found shot inside a car in an alley at 98th and Carmen. This is someone who clearly let jealousy play a huge role. Brown says the suspect and her daughter had broken up a year ago and had recently started talking again. Now the family wants to know if there was a history of abuse. According to the CDC, 12% of high school girls report physical violence from a partner. But Milwaukee's Domestic Violence Commission says the numbers are much higher. It's like one in three uh, youth have experienced that. That's quite a bit and um, it can be very volatile. Police say a 19 year old man has turned himself in in connection to the murder. But Kiara's family says that doesn't bring back their daughter. Even if I get answers, that won't be enough. That won't be enough. Now, if you need help getting out of a violent relationship, you can call the Sojourner Journer Family Peace Center's 24 hour hotline. We have that number on our screen reporting live outside Milwaukee Police Headquarters. Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. So sad. Thank you, Rebecca.